Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to my friends, family, and to you guys for supporting me. Um, all the comments, the kind comments that you've been um, giving me and all the support you've been giving me means a lot. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the, uh, the um, link to the in the description below. But right now, we're going to be looking at what's in my tech bag. I've been looking for a new tech bag for a little while now. Um, if you've got any suggestions for anything that you use or if you have any that you are interested in looking at, send the links and comments down below uh, because I'll be really interested to see. The tech bag I've been using recently uh, is, is the XD Design Bobby Hero Bag, it's called. Um, this used to be my international travel bag, but now it's just become my day-to-day -day bag. Uh, the items inside aren't items that I take with me every single time I travel, but they are items that I generally do take with me if I can, because there isn't a ton of space in this bag. Uh, and there are special compartments which we'll go through um, in the video. So what's unique about this bag? Well, the front panel here is a tear resistant panel. So if someone comes in there with a knife and tries to slash it down, they won't be able to because it's resistant to that. It's also got this at the bottom as well, where by if they try to um, cut down to the very bottom, it will be resistant there as well. Uh, it's also got a reflective strip here and reflective points up here and here so you, you can be seen in the dark um, and that's basically the front of the bag. You'll also notice that there's a it's got a very kind of solid shape. This shape I've been using this bag for about two years now. Even when the items aren't inside the bag it is very structured um, which is a key point about this bag as well. It's got very nice padding um, and it's very secure. Uh, looking around the back of the bag it's got this handle um, it's not the softest handle in the world. It is a nice handle to hold. It's got like this uh, seat belt type material on it. Um, so it's kind of soft, um, but it's a handle. It works. On the side panels here, these are kind of quick access panels. So uh, these are for basically quickly accessing certain items. So in one side, I've got my keys with my air tag on them. Um, I recommend getting air tags because it is a lifesaver for so many things, um, especially if you are prone to forgetting things. Uh, so I've got my keys in one side and on the other side, I've got the AirPod Pros. Uh, this is the second generation AirPod Pros um, with the speaker on the bottom and it's got the Find My feature. So very useful. Um, also the sound on them is, is much better. And one of my favorite features I keep forgetting to use is that you can slide the stem on the uh, AirPods to turn the volume up and down. Um, but yeah, so those are my go-tos for just whenever I go out the house, traveling, um, just general walking to the shops and going to the gym, exercising. These are perfect. They've also got sweat resistance. You'll also notice there's a USB section here uh, for charging. So this uses USB 2.0. You can also plug in uh, your own external battery to use this. Uh, however, I lost the cable, so I can't really do that anymore. <laughs> uh, the mesh on the back here is uh, very breathable. Um, I've not had any issues with this. There's no wear and tear that's happened, so it's very resistant. It's also very, very well padded. It's very soft, um, especially down the bottom here if you need that extra lumbar support. Um, there's also this strap as well if you want to uh, put this on a luggage bag uh, for you know international traveling and you need you don't want to carry anything else on your back so that's useful uh, that's made of like a basically same same as a handle like a seat belt type material uh, the bottom zip here this has an RFID locker so if you have anything like a passport or a credit card uh, this will protect those those items from being like scanned and people stealing that information uh, so inside this pocket, I have my passport. I've also got the Apple polishing cloth. Uh, I've done a review of this polishing cloth, which I'll leave in the description down below. Uh, this is the best polishing cloth I've used. Um, other ones I've used, they kind of smudge the fingerprints around sometimes. Um, but this has been just consistently great. I know it's just a polishing cloth, but it is the best one I've used. On the top here, you'll notice that there's uh, two uh, zippers here. So when this is all put on, you can't see the zips. So that's the point of the bag. It's um, 
anti-theft bag. So when you pull this back, you've also got these two um, holes, uh, so you can put a padlock in there uh, if, you're, if you need that extra peace of mind. Um, and if you pull these down, then this takes you to the main compartment. So um, the first thing I pull out is in the laptop section of the bag. It's not a laptop. I do have a laptop. It's a MacBook Pro 14 inch um, with the M1 Pro, but that's not my actual laptop. That's actually my work laptop, which is why I'm not showing it on here. Um, but my actual device that I use as my main computing device, if I can get it out, <laughs> is the iPad Pro. So this is the uh, 2020 model of the iPad Pro. Uh, this is my go-to device for pretty much everything on a day-to-day -day basis. It's my main computing device. I love it. There's some bits that I don't like about it, such as the fact that the camera's on the side and not in the top middle, um, and that it doesn't have a function around the keyboard. However, it does everything I need it to do. I can do photo editing on it. I can do some basic video editing on it with like Luma, Luma Fusion. Um, Apple, if you're watching, please, 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 please release Final Cut Pro on the iPad. It will be a game changer. Um, Future Mike here with a quick update. Final Cut and Logic Pro for pro level video editing and music creation have finally been released for the iPad. You can download them in the App Store uh, right now. I'll leave the link to Apple's website where you can get all the information about them. But for right now, uh, back to the video. Um, so this is my uh, main device. I love Stage Manager as well. The fact that you can just plug it into a monitor and use it as a basically a hybrid computer tablet device is just amazing. So the next thing in here is my beanie. So this is <laughs> not a tech uh, item, but uh, this is my dying easy be uh, beanie, which is obviously if it's cold or rainy outside, then I'll put this on. Dying easy, if you're watching, sponsor me. I love your brand. I love your items. I love your apparel. They're amazing. This is the uh, AirPod Max. So the case that the AirPod Max actually came in, that one that people said looks like a handbag or a bra, I actually threw that away because I didn't think it would give the AirPods any protection. So instead I bought this case. Um, so before we go through the AirPods, I'll talk about the case. Uh, it's got this memory foam kind of uh, honeycomb protective padding here, which is very, very, very soft. Uh, and you can see there's like a cutouts here or where the AirPods go. Uh, it's also got this bit in the middle, where, which is magnetic. So on the original case, when you put the AirPods uh, Max in, these magnets would then put it into a low power mode. Uh, that's exactly what this case does. Um, I've had a case that doesn't do that and it drains the battery. Um, I would recommend getting a case that has these magnets because you will ruin the battery um, in the uh, AirPods if you don't. Uh, so. This is also a hard shell case as well, so gives you that extra peace of mind. So these are my headphones of choice. Um, the AirPod Pro 2s are the ones I use for kind of like just when I'm walking around like from A to B. But these ones I use mainly at home or if I'm going to be on a plane or a train on a long journey. Uh, the noise cancelling on them is fantastic. Uh, they've got these really soft um, cushions on the ears, which you can just remove. They're magnetic, so will just snap into place. So if they ever get damaged or you just want to buy a different color, just do that, snap it into place. They are quite weighty, they're quite heavy, but this uh, band on the top actually distributes the weight quite well. Uh, so it doesn't feel like you've got a heavy pair of headphones on. And these uh, Periscope, uh, I think they're called Periscope, adjustable Periscope, I forgot the full name for it. Um, but they adjust and then they just stay in place. Um, I've got a small head, so I never need to adjust them. They just go at the minimum points there. Uh, but this is the best movie watching experience when you combine this with the uh, iPad Pro, uh, just because of the, the way they do spatial audio. Um, yeah, these are fantastic. The next item in here is, so this is my Anchor battery. This is a 10,000 uh, milliamp hour battery. This is the PowerCore Slim. Uh, it's got a battery indicator here for showing obviously how much battery we got, just shows four dots, which means it's fully charged. Uh, if you think double tap, yeah, it shows a green light, which means it puts it into eco mode. And if you double tap, 
inputs into regular charging mode. Uh, there's two input chargers here to charge the battery itself. So it's uh, USB-C and micro USB. And the output for actually charging the device is USB-A, which is this one here. So this is the cable I use. This is an anchor braided cable, which is USB-A to lightning. This just goes into here. This has saved my app many times. Um, I've actually plugged this into my phone uh, when taking my, my motorbike up to Wales. And this only drained to 50%. So really, really, really good. And that was ch charging the whole time. I think I was on that journey for about five hours or some, six hours or something. So this has been a lifesaver for me. Uh, the next item is not a tech item. It's some chewing gum because you never know when you might have bad breath on a journey and you always want to go with, um, with fresh breath. This is half a packet of Wrigley's Extra. So this one, I've also done an unboxing of these um, sunglasses. This is the Soundcore frames. Uh, I love the case, uh, not as much as the frames, uh, but this is a really cool origami case. So it uses magnets to close, uh, open and close the flap. And then when you take the sunglasses out, which we'll go into in a minute, uh, you just have to fold these in, fold that flat, and you've got this really thin flat case which you just throw in your bag. And it's really easy to just kind of get everything back up if you want to put your sunglasses back in. So uh, really cool design. The sunglasses themselves, uh, these have a uh, UV protection on the actual frames themselves and uh, they're scratch resistant as well. And then the stems themselves, that's where all the tech is. So it's got the touch sensors, so you can double tap for play pause um, if you want Siri. Um, and also you can swipe uh, forward and back if you want volume or to move forward and back on a track. You do that within the app itself and you can customize that aspect of it. Uh, Soundcore sound is really, really good. However, the bass isn't the best, uh, but I wouldn't expect it to be the best compared to say the AirPod Max because you haven't got the space in here. If you do want a pair of uh, sunglasses that has better better sound overall and you don't mind them being a bit bulky, I would recommend the Bose frames. They are a bit, they are quite a bit thicker, um, which is why they have the better base. But if you want something that looks a bit more kind of sleek and I guess natural in terms of sunglasses, you don't look like you're wearing a piece of tech on your face, then these are the way to go. Uh, they've got the speakers on these two parts of the stem, so just creates this really weird experience where you feel like the sound is actually in your head, even though they're just kind of just dotted around your ear. Uh, and they've also got a microphone as well, so you can um, speak on the phone. And there's also commands like play, pause, and so on. Uh, they've also got sensors on them, so you can put them on your face and they connect. And when you take them off, they disconnect. You can also set when they disconnect as well if you want it after 30 seconds, two minutes or so on. Um, that's all on the Soundcore app. Uh, but yeah, these are my favorite pair of sunglasses that I've ever had. The next thing is uh, intensive hand cream. This isn't tech. Well, technically there's aspects of tech that went into it. My hands get dry in winter and um, when it gets cold. So that's why I have hand cream in there. And the next thing is uh, my Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is the OLED model. The case here is the uh, original, or is the case that Nintendo has made for it. Uh, I'll go through the Switch in a minute, but this case here, it has uh, some compartments if you want your game cards. I haven't got any extra game cards. I only have one, which is for No Man's Sky. Uh, everything else I've downloaded so far. But this is quite a slim case. I didn't want something too bulky. I just, because the, my ethos is just I like to have things that are kind of thin and, and light and compact so that I don't have to, I can compact more things in one one bag rather than having lots of bulky items. Uh, so this is a great case uh, for my needs. So this is the, the Nintendo Switch that I use. It's got the OLED screen. Uh, I love the new uh, stand on it. It's just so much better than the little thing that flicked out on the old one, which just constantly broke. Um, yeah, and this is, I wish that they had made like a pro version, but maybe that's in the future. But yeah, this is my game console of choice. So the next item is in this zip compartment. It is the 
Apple Pencil. So this is the second generation Apple Pencil with the magnetic charging. So you just do that and it charges. It charges very quickly as well. Uh, so yeah, I use this for jotting down notes, uh, playing, app, uh, using it on like apps like Happy Color, just for like downtime and chilling out and relaxing my mind a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's very good. Um, I do want to get uh, a screen protector on my iPad uh, from Paperlike, just because using this on the glass screen, you don't feel like you gain much accuracy when you're kind of coloring in or if you're writing. Um, so that gives you the more paper like resistance. Aside from that, the response time when you're actually using the Apple Pencil is really, really quick. So you actually feel like you are writing because there's no lag. And the last item in here is my cable box bag, whatever you want to call it. So if I open this up, uh, this has a lot of my extra kind of charging elements and little items that I don't really want just floating around in the bag. So the first one here is this little stand from ESR. It's a MagSafe um, charger as well, because it uses USB-C here. So it's got a little stand here. It's made of metal. I'm not sure if that's plastic or glass. I think that's plastic, but this is all metal around it. Um, I basically just use this for if I'm on the go, watching a movie on my phone or something, or watching a TV series, um, because it's just nice to prop it up. And yeah, that's just basically what I use that for. The other item I have in here is the uh, Apple charging adapter. It uses the magnetic flip. This is the UK one, obviously, um, but I just love this. I could just do that all day, but I'm not going to because it will annoy you. And uh, it's got the USB-C uh, at the bottom as well there. So this is 20 watts. This will charge your phone um, and iPads and, and so on. Wouldn't you recommend using this for a laptop though? So, yep, this is my compact charger. It's quite pricey. Um, I will put links to alternatives down below just because uh, obviously Apple prices, you can get them much cheaper elsewhere. Um, but I'll leave uh, some links to some of the anchor ones, which are like the Gallium Nitride ones. And I'll leave some that are also flip um, uh, adapters as well. Uh, the other item in here that I've got is the MagSafe Duo, it's called. Again, uses magnets, flips open, and then you've got your uh, MagSafe, and then you've got your Apple Watch charger. So you can have that flat, or you can have that up if you want to put it in that um, night time, or what is it called? Uh, Nightstand mode, um, where it shows you the time. But yeah, it's nice and compact. Uh, the nice thing as well with this is that the AirPod Pro 2s have the MagSafe. They can charge using um, the MagSafe one, or you can use the Apple Watch uh, as well to charge it. So very useful for that. So that's the uh, MagSafe Duo. Other compartment here, I've got a spare Apple Watch band because you never know when you're gonna need a spare Apple Watch band. And then in the last compartment here, I've got basically my mess of cables. <laughs> so I've got USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to Lightning, and another USB-C to Lightning. Uh, I don't have all my all my cables in here. I actually need to kind of sort this out because it's a bit of a mess at the moment. But yeah, um, this compartment usually has all the cables I need for when I'm traveling. So I'll always make sure that I have every cable I need, every item that I'm taking with me. Uh, because you always need to have charging cables with you. And that's basically what's in that bag. This is from Ugreen, but again, I'll leave the link down below. Um, and then just to kind of look at the rest of this bag. So if we take the buttons off and undo this bit, this gives you full access to the backpack. So the back of the backpack has uh, a section for your tablet and your laptop. The laptop fits up to a 15 inch. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So if you have got this bag or and you've got a 16 inch MacBook Pro, please let us know in the comment down below if it does fit. And it's got these elastic straps as well to keep everything in place. Uh, this is for the iPad um, or tablets. Uh, I don't think this will fit more than a 9.7 inch. Definitely doesn't 
fit uh, the 12.9 inch iPad uh, and it will definitely fit an iPad mini. I feel like this is perfect size for an iPad mini. Uh, in the other section here, you've got all these kind of padded compartments. Uh, so for example, uh, this bit here, you can put your Apple Pencil. I wouldn't do this because my Apple Pencil has actually fallen out a few times. So, and it's just been left at the bottom there. So that's why I put it in this uh, zip compartment uh, to be secure. And then you've got some bits here if you want to um, keep any items there. So for example, you want to put some AirPods in there. And then you've got some uh, other uh, sections here that will fit. Say for example, I can put the power bank here with the cable in that section. And then this one will probably fit the uh, Nintendo Switch case. So these compartments are very well padded. The only problem is that once you have these items in here, there isn't much space once the bag is closed. Uh, there's this much to fit other items. Uh, so you need to be quite uh, strategic when you're putting stuff in this bag. So that's all the items that were in the bag. However, I didn't get to fit everything in the bag. So there's two honorary mentions. So the first one is the Lark water bottle. So this water bottle uses UVC technology, which Lark calls Pure Viz, and that is used to kill bacteria in the water. So it uses, it does it by this uh, UV light at the bottom here. So this shoots the UV light into the bottle, which then uh, kills the bacteria in the water. If you're using water from like, say a tap, you know, like a home, you just press this button here once and it will do a 60 second clean. Uh, if you're somewhere that you're not too familiar with, that where you're getting water, you press it twice, so double tap, um, and it will do a three minute clean. So it's a bit more thorough. Uh, and if you hold this down, then it will lock it. So say for example, you're carrying this in a backpack and you don't want this accidentally being pressed, then that will lock it so it doesn't obviously do an accidental clean. However, every two hours, it will do a 10 second clean just throughout the day. Uh, it also uses micro USB um, to charge. However, I wish that was USB-C. Uh, and also the bottle itself can keep water cold for up to 24 hours and hot water hot for 12 hours. Uh, so this is just, in my opinion, one of the best water bottles. Oh, and also the battery in this lasts for about three months. So it takes about two hours to charge roughly and last three months. So if you're going on holiday, just make sure you charge it and you won't have to worry about the, the battery or have to think about it. Uh, the other honorary mention is the Razer Kishi. So this is my main controller that I use for uh, my phone. Uh, I mainly use it for Call of Duty, but if you have any other, if you know any other games that you recommend that would work with the controller, similar to like Call of Duty, I like my first person shooters. Um, please recommend them in the comments below because I'd be really interested to know. Uh, this has a lightning connector uh, specifically for the iPhone, but you can get this with a USB-C connector if you have an Android phone, for example. Uh, it's also got these rubber uh, pad sections so it can fit you know, specific phones depending on what size they are. Uh, and the buttons are really good, they're really clicky. It's got pro, it, it feels like a professional game controller. Uh, and I love the way that it just kind of just clips in. Usually I'm able to do this a lot more quicker and efficiently, but I think for the sake of this video, this doesn't want to work. There you go. <laughs> and there you go, it closes up all compact. Uh, I do wish this had Bluetooth as well, so you could have it as just a handheld controller for the phone. But yeah, for what it is, it's great. So that's what's in my tech bag. If you have any recommendations for tech that I should show or that I should take with me, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and thank you for watching.